What it is, though, is a functioning, quite good tank that Pakistan can build and maintain. Mm. And for Pakistan, that makes it a really good tank. They've gone for a uh, modular approach for pretty much everything in this tank, and modularity is the enemy of optimization. Um, so, you know, the, the engine bay is larger than it needs to be for the engine it's got because they want to be able to maybe fit a different engine in, in it in future. So it's got a considerable amount of future proofing built into it and also future supplier proofing, uh, which is really important if you're a country like Pakistan, which mm -hmm. doesn't know who its friends are going to be. Yeah. And this tank, uh, for a medium-sized country um, with a quite poor economy, relatively speaking, is still a indigenous tank that will present a problem on the battlefield that has to be solved by the enemy. They can build this. Um, but, um, yeah. my, my point is simply that um, Pakistan has deliberately designed this so they have options, mm. so that they can put a different engine in if they need to, uh, or a different thermal side or a different fire control system it has been built up from the ground up for that modularity. And that is very wise on their part and will give them a functional tank into the future that will, to some extent, deter the enemies they face.